Welcome back guys for another PPL Regional Recap. This one's gonna be for North America in week two. Now, after Europe, North America had a big, big shoe to fill. There was a lot of good matchups though that definitely lived up to the standard. And they would start on Frog Isle, pitting Splice against the new hotness, the Detroit Renegades. Outdrafted is the one word summary here. Splice got handled by Loki on Victor, a niche character that succeeds only in very specific situations. And Shady Shades Drogos. Don't get me wrong, Shades is a monster, but Drogos isn't exactly something he's really known for, but he got it done. Game two, Splice threw a curveball that the Renegades frankly should have been prepared for since they, you know, invented it. Strix on Fish Market. Envy had a great game and Splice would force a game three. But then Shady Shades got Cassie, something he is known for, and the Renegades find the win, another thing that they are quickly becoming known for. Splice would have their last shot at finding a win against SK Gaming, the only other winless team still in North America at this point. Prince Danny would be a big talking point today due to his lackluster performance last weekend, but Splice made the mistake of letting ya boy Prince Danny get the God Slayer in game one. He went off and never came back. He even played great on Eevee in game two, something he hasn't done in a long, long time. With their Prince playing more like a king, SK grabbed their first win. 2-0. Next up, it was time for the salty run back between G2 Esports and the Detroit Renegades. G2 wanting to prove that their loss was a fluke and the Renegades out to prove the opposite and that they were indeed the best team in North America. Game 1, the Renegades took a chance with James Tiberius Strix on Frog Isle, but it didn't quite pan out and G2 were able to take Game 1, but Game 2 on Splitstone Quarry Looked like it was also going to go G2's way as well, but a comeback that was nothing short of miraculous resulted in the Renegades pushing this set to three games. Jaguar Falls would settle the score. The Renegades came out hot, capping and converting, then getting a defensive stop the next round to put themselves up 3-1. One final all-around solid fight from the Renegades. They secured their spot as the top squad in NA with a 3-0 record. The final set of the weekend would pit SK Gaming against Team Envious and would decide who would get a 2-1 record tying with G2 Esports for second place. Again, in this set, Danny was playing well, which just sets off this chain reaction in SK Gaming that makes them pretty scary. When all five of those guys, extremely talented players, are playing well, they are so hard to beat, can attack you from any different angle. The standings in North America after week two are as follows. G2 Esports with two wins, one loss. SK Gaming also with two wins, one loss. Renegades going undefeated with three wins and zero losses. Splice sitting at zero wins, four losses, and Envious rounding out North America at one win and two losses. As long as they all continue to play well, I frankly have a lot of hope for SK going forward as they are now tied for second with G2 Esports, their long-standing rival. So this is gonna be a great story that we get to watch out actually play out in week number three. But that's gonna do it for week two, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Hyros Pretty Hair, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Want some more Palins Esports? Head over to facebook.com slash Palins Game and make sure to subscribe to our Palins Premier League and Palins Global Series show pages. You'll get notifications sent directly to you, including new shows, VODs of the games, and other exclusive content.